Hi fellas, yet another CTT repair video I greet you with. This time it's JVC or JVC model. You can see it because I don't. All right. Problem. Weird uh, horizontal line. Let me show you. I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna turn off my lamps here so it will not interfere with camera. Horizontal line. Immediately, let me turn it off because it gets high. it gets uh, bright and will damage the phosphor. Problem most likely can be a bad yoke or it can be a bad vertical deflection circuit. Further, further inspection will tell me for sure. By the way, we have yet another TV there, which is some Chinese ripoff, like Patriot or whatever. I'm gonna repair that next. That one actually does not switch on at all, so I decided to look this one up first. Can could be some bad capacitors, but I'm not for sure. I'm not sure about this. Next step: discharging picture tube, taking out the chassis, cleaning it from dust, and inspecting it. Now, one easy way to find where uh, the vertical deflection can be is to follow the wires from cables from yoke. This yoke, yeah, all right. This cable is what connects to yoke and it goes here near the flyback because the horizontal um, deflection coil uh, actually yeah horizontal deflection coil actually tied to the flyback in some manner and is driven by the same transistor as flyback is uh, vertical deflection must be that radiate that heat sink that you barely see this one, which is a uh, which cools down the IC in SIP package. I don't know how much pins it it has, but lazy to count. So let me take it out and I'll show you more. Okay, I found a problem and already fixed it. So now I will show you what I did to find it. Firstly, as I mentioned, I went. Uh, excuse me. I went uh, where the yoke cable goes. You can see that a uh, huge connector which uh, contains gray, yellow, blue, and red wires. And you can see a thin heatsink on the left, and that is vertical deflection IC as well as some combination of voltage regulator. So, next thing I did, I went and checked the yoke for continuity, and it is okay. Continuity in both coils. How I did that? Let me flip the circuit board around and I'll show you. Alright, you can see, artistic lighting. Here is that I see in SIP package. As I mentioned, SIP stands, SIP stands for a single inline package. You can see how many pins. I ain't gonna count it. So, that I see is this. So, I went, because the uh, yoke checked good, I went and uh, checked solder connections. And this pin, which is the last pin, first pin is here. And I'm gonna even count it for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Pin number thirteen had a very, very bad joint, almost like cold joint, even rather dry joint, practically no solder on it, despite being looking crunchy. It had so little solder that 
I went with my soldering gun and resoldered, refloated every single pin on this AC. And now it works. To prove, I'm gonna show you. Let me put it back, switch off my artistic lighting, and I'll be ready to rock. Alrighty, everybody. I connected everything back, hopefully. Yeah, seems like that. And uh, because PCB is not fixed in any way, you can see it wobbles. Even if I'm gonna push the key, push the switch, it will basically watch will happen. Boom, the switch is not pushed. So that's why I have a couple of lead acid batteries around. Just for yourself. <gasps> we see a raster. Color auto. Bam, it works. Success. It's like an easiest television repair that I had. Whew, good on you, Johnny. Anyway, thanks for watching.